Hi, this is Galit Gofak. Thank you very much for joining me here today. Today, I'm going to be talking about treating lupus with diet and supplements. Systemic lupus erythematosus, sim more simply known as lupus, is a complex autoimmune disease where a hyperactive immune system attacks healthy tissue, resulting in inflammation, joint damage, swelling, and uh, other symptoms. Now, the presence of autoantibodies are found in nearly all people with lupus, and consequently, this disease affects the whole body with damage occurring to many organs, including the kidneys, the central nervous system, the skin, uh, joints, and uh, the blood cell production system. Now, the reason for the development of lupus in people is still unknown. However, data from the literature suggests that expression of this disease in predisposed people is the result of hormonal, nutritional, and environmental factors that lead to impaired immune responses. Now, dietary and environmental factors can be seen, for example, in people of the same ethnicity but with different disease prevalence. For example, uh, there is a, low a lower prevalence in, in lupus in, in West Africans, and uh, when you compare this with African Americans. And the differences include dietary, differences between these two populations are, they have dietary differences, as well as the use of antibiotics and differences in hygiene, which uh, lead to the differences in uh, the variety of microbes that make up their microbiome, which changes a person's risk for lupus. Now, lupus affects about 24 people out of every 100,000 people, so it is not that common, but it is still very debil debilitating. And lupus is a, a lifelong disease, often with long-term use of medications. And these medications most commonly used to treat lupus include non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, anti-malarial drugs, corticosteroids, biologics, and, and immunosuppressants have um, many side effects, especially when used long term. Uh, they lead to severe gastrointestinal problems, to lipid profile changes, osteoporosis, retinal toxicity, and muscle weaknesses. Now, change in dietary habits can reduce the consequences of this disease and the consequences of the medications and reduce the potential risk factors and as well as increase the period of remission because of the effects of a person's diet on fat and glucose metabolism and on oxidative stress and on the microbiome. Therefore, dietary change is crucial. Uh, as well, it also has no side effects unlike the classical medications that are used while also reducing the consequences of other medications and other medical problems in the, in the person that is suffering from lupus. Needless to say that proper nutrition also improves mental well-being and the quality of life uh, for people with lupus. So here are natural ways to manage lupus and prevent flare-ups with nutrition. Number one, weight management. Now, obesity worsens the capacity of people with lupus to function desirably. It also increases tiredness and inflammation in people with lupus. And also corticosteroids that are the first line of treatment for lupus are linked with excess weight gain and the development of diabetes. Now calorie restriction has shown very promising effects. One study showed the calorie restriction effectively delayed the onset of a protein in the urine, which could be a sign of a kidney damage and autoimmune activity as well in, in mice. Presently, evidence supports the idea that a low-calorie diet reduces disease activity in lupus. Therefore, I recommend um, uh, intermittent fasting as part of treatment. Now, you can see, see how to do this in the best possible way in my video on this subject that you can find a link to at the end of this video, below this video. Also, exercise can help uh, alleviate lupus symptoms as well as um, help you lose weight. Um, a physical exercise is preferably endurance exercises such as walking or swimming um, are the best for lupus. Um, I recommend to adhere to this type of exercise program uh, for a minimum of 20 minutes three times a week. Also, you want to lower your protein consumption. Dietary protein restriction has been addressed in several studies in people with lupus. 
Um, so you do want to re uh, restrict protein, but I recommend changing dietary composition rather than just restricting protein alone. It is the type of protein and the types of foods consumed that are crucial. Consuming a primarily whole food, plant-based diet, as is the gorilla diet, which is rich in raw or cooked vegetables, fruits, nuts, seeds, whole grains, and some legumes, with limited animal um, product consumption, will increase renal function and uh, reduce the progression of um, kidney damage and uh, lupus as well. Now, you also want to increase vitamin D. It's a steroid hormone with essential role in many of the body's systems. Um, this vitamin also helps regulate the immune system, it reduces inflammatory markers, and reduces tiredness in people with lupus. Vitamin D deficiency has been associated with a higher susceptibility to lupus and more severe disease activity. Uh, now, the medical data show that a uh, lower level of vitamin D can be a risk factor uh, triggering lupus as well as other autoimmune diseases. So I recommend supplementing with 2,000 international units per day of vitamin D3 instead of increasing exposure to the sun because even though exposure to the sun does uh, stimulate vitamin D production, sunshine exposure is controversial in people with lupus because of their photosensitivity. Now, if you're taking corticosteroids for your lupus, remember that they may have bone damaging effects when used long term. To combat this, ensure you're taking your vitamin D supplements and that you have sufficient calcium in your diet uh, by consuming green leafy vegetables and like spinach, kale, turnips, collard greens, and uh, adding also seeds and soya beans. Now you want to choose iron rich foods as well because anemia is common in people with active lupus and the best way to prevent anemia is by consuming iron rich plant based foods such as whole sesame seed paste, pumpkin and hemp, hemp and flax seeds. I would recommend consuming about one to two tablespoons of any of these seeds um, once a day. Also you want to avoid drinking coffee or black tea with your meals as these will affect iron absorption. You can also remedy anemia with oral supplementation. However, it is best to consult with a nutritionist on how much and who should because certain populations should avoid iron supplementation. You also want to boost your antioxidant intake because uh, a study evaluating people with lupus uh, observed the pro oxidant antioxidant balance and and saw that um, pro oxidants were much higher than average in people with lupus compared to antioxidants now these findings suggest that oxidative stress is a common condition in people with lupus therefore those with lupus need to increase antioxidant levels in their diet which will neutralize or remove um, damaging free radicals now vitamin c vitamin e flavonoids carotenoids are among the antioxidants that were found to support people with lupus. Uh, vitamin C, important antioxidant we all know, prevents oxidative stress, reduces inflammation. Um, therefore, vitamin C should be supplemented in people at about 500 milligrams per day if you take in lup uh, liposomal, um, um, as, as a liposomal uh, supplement. You want to do this in combination with vitamin E, 200 IU international units, because of its um, synergic uh, activity. And when combined with omega-3 fatty acids uh, from seeds, for example, all together they have very potent anti-inflammatory effects. So vitamin C can be found also in peppers, citrus fruits, strawberries, papaya, and broccoli. And you can find vitamin E in sunflower seeds, avocados, almonds. Um, now foods rich in carotenoids that you want to add to your diet are also um, sweet potatoes, um, kale and spinach, green leafy vegetables. And fl flavonoids are also crucial for lupus, uh, also antioxidants. One study showed that increased flavonoids in the diet led to higher fecal levels of beneficial microorganisms. Um, so they have a, a, a better um, microbiome. Um, uh, they promote a healthy immune response and have antioxidant uh, effects as well. Now, the main foods that provide a healthy intake of flavonoids include oranges, apples, lentils, celery, berries, and red grapes are all packed with uh, flavonoids. Another study looked at another group of flavonoids, isoflavones. Um, they're estrogen-like nutrients extracted from soybeans. 
These isoflavones have anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects, and they reduce the protein in the urine, um, supporting kidney function. And they also balance the immune system, all vital for lupus. Now, the vitamin B complex also helps improve clinical symptoms in uh, lupus. Therefore, I recommend taking a B complex supplement four times a week. Uh, research shows that this is beneficial. Also, omega-3 supplementations uh, is uh, important. Um, these fatty acids uh, positively impact overall clinical status and uh, omega-3 fatty acids for people with lupus has shown to reduce inflammation by lowering C-reactive protein and other inflammatory mediators. Now, omega-3 uh, supplementation also reduces uh, uh, lupus disease activity, uh, supports um, healthy, healthy and, and Epithelium and um, uh, supports the immune system and prevents reduces oxidative stress and regulates also cholesterol and triglyceride levels. Now, the best sources for omega-3 fatty acids include flax seeds, chia seeds, and walnuts. So to summarize, because of the complexities of lupus, it is essential to think long term. And rather than rely solely on prescription medications to prevent flare-ups, it is best to avoid nutrient deficiencies and to boost your immune system through a diet rich in seeds and vegetables and fruits, especially flax seeds, pumpkin seeds, um, sesame seeds, carrots, walnuts, uh, soybeans, oranges, and apples, while also supplementing with vitamin D, uh, plant-based omega-3 fatty acids, and B-complex, as well as starting with an endurance exercise um, uh, routine, um, swimming or running or walking. Now, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel if you like this type of content and also visit thegorilladiet.com for anything to help you move your health and wellness physical and mental to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining.